So let's take a look at the new multitasking setup on iPad OS 15. Now this is something which is definitely going to save people a lot of headaches when it comes to the fiddly nature of how it was before to something which is really, really easy to access for everybody. Now, if you've never seen multitasking before, it's where you can have split screen mode. It's where you can have the hover bar over the top of work you're looking at. But let's have a look at how we get that set up. So I'm going to start in a Safari web browser. So let's imagine we're doing some research, for example, and we're trying to gather lots and lots of information. And we know that we want to have a space to document all of this. Well, split screen usually works by dragging up from the bottom and, and adding in uh, the second screen that you want. But the new improved interface in this operating system is simply to tap on the three dots at the top. This gives you these options here, full screen, split screen, or that hover bar. So now I can simply tap on that split screen, choose my second app, and this is where it gets a little bit better for my thinking because I now have access to all of those apps that I can choose, whereas before I had to rely on things that were in my dock. And because we now also have the app library, we can have access to pretty much everything in a really, really quick and easy way. In this instance, I'm just going to open notes and you'll notice now I have a note on one side and my uh, my research uh, that I'm doing on the left hand side. So it just allows me to really focus on what I'm doing here. Now, at any point, you might want to change any of those. So you can simply tap at the top. I can go full screen on my note. And again, if I tap on the three dots. I can choose to back to go split screen and choose something else to add in. In this case, I may choose photos because I might have already done some research and want to add something additional to it. Now, if you've not seen before, working in split screen is great because we can use the multi-touch features of the iPad to simply drag and drop between the apps that I have open. So this is great because I can now work between those different applications should I need to, and again, at any point, you can choose whether you want to go back to that full screen mode. Now, another thing to highlight here whilst you're looking at multitasking is you'll notice that you also have access to other websites that you may have had open on your device. So you can quickly jump between those. Now that also works in your notes. You'll notice that previous notes that I've had open will appear at the bottom. So that quick multitask uh, jumping between things that you've been doing, really easy to access on the device. Let's look at that hover over, just in case you haven't seen this uh, before. Just again, might be for quick access to just some information that you want, but you don't want to move away from that full screen view. Again, I can tap on that. Again, choose maybe uh, Safari in this case. And now I've got this hover over bar here. So you'll notice that we can uh, just have that access. It doesn't it, it doesn't go full full kind of half screen for me. It sits over the top of that website. But equally, I can put that into kind of full access without it missing off any of the content here. Now, one thing I usually get asked as well is, great, that's how to get into it. How do I get out of it again? Well, there is also an access to just swipe the bar across. This also adds in that function of going three quarter to a quarter of the screen if you just need more sort of sight of something but still have access to the full page. So lots and lots of options in here of how to utilize multitasking, how to have that split screen mode all set up to make you really productive on your iPad.